How's it going, peoples? So welcome back to uh, Beer Knots episode 15. I'm Diego Berhan. Alan Flores. RG Flores. Beer Knots, the show that explores different beers in the universe so you know what's out there. So today's episode, we're going to be re uh, reviewing Oktoberfest, 5.0% mm -hmm. right. on the I'm sorry, 5.0% on the alcohol content, right. and it's brewed by uh, Cross Cross Brewing Company, or just kind of Cross Cross Brewing. Yeah, maybe one. So, RG, welcome to the walk us through the end. Oh, uh, uh, this is uh, brewed with uh, hop, uh, Holotel, right. Holotel, Holotel hops, and uh, Pro hops. Correct. Right. So, cool. Wow, I just said this today. <laughs> so this particular <laughs> brew is actually uh, your lot uh, standard lager, but it's it's an October uh, seasonal lager. And uh, we're going to be using a Pilsner glass, and then we're going to be pouring this particular brew about halfway up, and then straight down, because it's a lot bigger, so it's a little bit lighter. So it'll be, it should be technically high up on the carbonation, so we don't want to have too much carbonation, because you halfway create way straight. too much head. So about a half inch to an inch of head is what we're looking for, for the most part, just to get the aromatics going and everything. So um, since I already pretty much finished my pouring, you're good to go. Um, Alan, walk us through the color. Ooh, this one, I'm going to say, um, <clears throat> let's go like a light brown, uh, kind of a brown amber color to it. Um, like yeah. Probably the tablecloth, but. That's yeah, I know the right. tablecloth kind of is a little bit misleading. Yeah. Argils. I'm going to go with, a uh, yeah, copper. I agree copper? with you. Argizel. Yeah. Um, yeah, a, a very light copper, actually. The other ones have been like a dark, dark copper. This yeah, one's a dark one. This is a, a little one. bit lighter copper, so yeah, definitely agree with you guys. Um. Since you already jump into the sniffage, <laughs> as he likes to incline and say, let's go in and actually see what you guys think on the on the sniffage. Since you already went ahead before us, please uh, give us your review. Uh, I do. Um, actually, it's pretty clear. Just a slight malty smell to it. Um, can we try get? Oh, definitely the malty malty uh, smell to it. Um, Toasted, yeah, yeah, like 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 a yeah. like roasted caramel, like really really light, but it's like a roast roll to it. Totally agree with you guys. I do get the uh, maltiness on it, and I I that was I was thinking about this entire time when we saw the, the when we did the, the tasting on this particular brew, was that it had that oaky like toasted flavor to it or it's burnt tree. Yeah, burnt tree smell to it. Well, since uh, we already did the color and smell, you guys want to dive into the taste? I'd be happy to. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Still counts. Just a tip. <laughs> to jump back to episode five. Alan! <laughs> what is the taste, man? Okay, um definitely like caramel taste to it. Um you get that bitter bitterness in the background, but um I think nothing too overpowering this beer is pretty uh, mild. Yeah, so I don't know. That's how I can report. No sweetness though. Really? Okay. Okay, I get the I get the maltiness, right. so roastiness that I, I I got an aroma in the beginning, and also I get a oh the aromage. Yeah, the aromage. I also get a like a oh man, the maltiness. I get the oh like the carbonation too. Carbonation. You guys, you feel like car carbonation pretty high yeah, in the spirit. So you can still see the bubbles going. You can't. But you see the bubbles going. You still see there. the bubbles going. Um, yeah. But you still get that bubble and you get that, that that strong, so you can even feel the carbonation on it. Which yeah, is cool. I don't mind. You guys actually hit two points that I I, um, I wasn't actually say right now. Um, the, it's mild on the flavor because you really can't really tell too much. You really can't notice too much of a sweet note to it. So it's kind of like a little bit misleading because it smells kind of sweet. Um, however, you didn't mention that um, it's it has that oaky oaky oh, yeah. taste with yeah. it in the beginning, and I was like, you know what? The finish of it, uh, or the, the the middle taste to it, when you take it into your you know lips and everything, you let it swell in your mouth. It sounds horrible. Um, it it has that like wood finish or like a, a oaky finish to it, like a fin, fin note to it. A little bit light on the bitterness, but other than that, you know, pretty much the same. I think I see a pack of dogs. Right. They're they're coming our way. <laughs> they, want our, they want our beer. <laughs> okay, so. How would you guys, or what, what would you guys use to uh, pair pair this or, or pair the, the beer with? Any any foods? Or you go first. I will go with um, pretty much. I think only with my all faithful. Like, since with the carbonation, you can do more. Like maybe the the actual meal, maybe like a sausage. Or it doesn't have to be a heavy <laughs> meal. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a heavy meal because the carbonation all that helps it digest and helps you enjoy yes, your meal. Stuff yes, like yes, that. yes, yes. So I'm gonna go with sausage. Maybe the hardiest thing to eat, and anything lighter. But pretty much anything. Yeah. What about you, man? We feel like. This one, um, kind of like the other ones we reviewed this week, um, this is kind of, it has a light taste to it, so I don't want anything too overpowering, but this one's probably the, the less, uh, flavorful of all the ones we tried, mm -hmm. 
So I would go with, uh, you know, kind of grilled uh, meat to it. Something more like salty, greasy thing to it. I okay. I don't know how to better describe that, but... I, I agree with both of you guys. Um, greasy stuff, yes. Uh, poultry is strong, strong protein. Yeah, I think it's sausage probably the heavy, yeah. the lowest, but I don't Greasy, slimy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would totally agree with you guys on that. Um, definitely, definitely. Any final notes you guys want to add to this uh, brew? Alan? I'm good. Uh, no, actually, I'm good. Oh, aren't you like the Argyle? Oh, yeah. I dig Argyles. This, this particular. Any people out there work for any Argyle companies, let me know. I like so Argyle socks. Argyle pattern. I, I like Argyle socks. Cool. So. Alright then, so yeah, then. Show uh, them up later. That's it. That's it. There you guys. Cool. Well, this was uh, Toberfest. Call Strauss. Right. Till next one. Alright guys, see you guys. Cheers. Cheers.